Hi, and welcome to the Build Your Own Data Logger course, presented by Wild Labs and Freak Labs. This is the third video of Module 1. In the last video, we discussed the physical hardware. In this video, we're going to look at the software part of this hardware, which is often called embedded software. We're going to look at three different kinds of software, but we'll only be writing one kind, which is the application. So let's look at the driver. The driver controls the physical hardware. The library includes the driver and adds some functionality and other processing, and it sits between the application and the physical hardware. The application interfaces with the library and tells it what to do. We're going to be writing the application. But let's look at the drivers just a little bit more. As we mentioned, the drivers provide access to the hardware at a very low level. They're usually written by the manufacturer and they work on specific hardware and hardware configurations, such as a specific microcontroller or communications interface. And sometimes they'll need to be updated, which is usually a straight download. The libraries are software that interfaces between the driver and the application. It's kind of like a friendly API. An API is an application programming interface, which is a way for two pieces of software to communicate with each other. In this case, the two pieces of software that are communicating is the application that we're writing and the driver that's controlling the hardware. The libraries are written by the manufacturers as well, but they're also written by other programmers. And again, they're usually written for specific hardware configurations. If you're building with standardized Arduino or Arduino compatible hardware, there's a good chance that there is already a library written for that hardware and a good chance that it will work on your specific configuration. As we mentioned, libraries can provide other kinds of functionality. So for example, on the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor, the library has an option to convert the temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Whether or not we'd use that functionality is up to us. So libraries can tell us what we can do in our application. But the documentation of the library can be of varying quality. Therefore, we want to explore and test the libraries to see whether they're working as we expect them to on our hardware configuration and to see what kind of functionality they can offer us. And for us, we'll be using a command line library to test this. Finally, we have the application, and this is what we'll be writing. This accesses and controls the hardware through the library. And like I mentioned, we'll be using the command line library to build our application. That's it for this video. If you have questions, post them to the forum or bring them along to the fortnightly office hours. So enough of the theory, let's start building. In module two, we're going to be setting up the Arduino IDE and starting to code the Wildlogger board. 